Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Now the spout obviously does go out a, a ridiculously long way, but I've already already got some stuff unloading here. The tractor will come out to about there, I think. That's a big problem with this spout, is it's so far out from the combine that the thing doesn't even register that the trailer is there when you're getting lined up with the spout. It, it does it it does make life difficult. This this spout is is one of the most difficult ones to actually like drive for. Look, it's done it again. I'm I'm just right on the edge of it as well. This 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 is inconvenient to say the least. See if that's gonna no. It, that's now. What are you doing? You, you, you're not making this job easy for me. Start with the. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. We we, we don't need to panic. It's still gonna work. There. Right. I've I've got I've got that in there. That that that's doing what it should do. It's it's now gone in. And still going in. I'm going to actually see if I can get forward a bit and, and go in there. Right, there we go. We're going the back one instead. Keep going. Keep going. We're, 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 we're in the right place. We're, we've almost finished. Just a little... No, no I, was, I, I almost unloaded then. Just needed to go a little tiny bit longer. Go on a bit, uh, just just a little bit more, right here, there. We go right into the, into the back one, right there, and we'll get you to unload right there. Ax, that's it. Beautiful. Look, and we we right, we got it. Just okay. It it did it. That's all that matters. As long as it actually did the job, that's that's what we need. You have actually already gone to the land work on here, so I'm going to swing around like this and. Get that one unloaded. I don't need to go and empty anything out just yet. We are able to have this one running. Now there was a, there is there is another course that we could set up where the combine self unloads, isn't there? There is another thing with the combine self unloading. I'm not I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. I'm not, I'm not actually I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother trying that one I'm, I'm not gonna go for the self unloading anything like that all we're gonna do is we're just gonna do it like this this works it's tried and tested method we will see if we can do it like this now I have been told I have had it briefly explained to me how we can have two combines running on the mega field using course play rather than using anything any other methods of doing the mega field with and we're going to plant wheat on it we're going to go for a traditional wheat crop on the massive great big field um and we should in theory be able to run it with course play kind of hoping we can because i think it'd be quite cool if we can do that and i'll bring you this way like this there is also another setting where we could have this one unloading automatically and then it it's got a pause feature where it stops and waits for like 30 seconds until the combine is moved. And then it tries to put itself into the right place rather than just driving straight in front of the combine like it's been doing. Um, so that's another setting that we can have a look at at some point. Not right now though. I want to go and do this. Whether we actually... I, I probably won't do that. I probably... When we come to do the mega harvest, I will probably just manually unload. We'll have a, a nice big trailer working on that one. He said, I was, I was thinking about having like the uh, a set of uh, doubles. Is it a, a B double? B double or something like that. I, I'm not exactly sure of the, the correct term of it, but um, yeah, a big trailer, a truck with a cup. Well, a truck with a couple of big trailers on it. I think is the answer that we never knew that, that we didn't even know that there was really a question for that. That is the answer that we're looking for for the, the bit that didn't even have a question. You. There we go. We chop that one off and we take... I left this one up on this corner because when I was first going round, I thought, well, it doesn't really matter. We'll grab the two of them together when I come and get this one over here. So now we can do this one. Take you out. Like that. There's another one. And chop that through there. You know, we got to actually start doing the plowing. We'll start doing the plowing quite soon. 
As soon as I've now gone round the outside of this field and, and sort of marked it all out, I'm also thinking that we've got one more field that we want to buy. Haven't we? In, in, really, in theory, we have, we've got the one more field that we want to buy. Once we've got that, there's no reason that we can't get that ploughing job started. The, the ploughing job is going to take a while. We won't worry about running any of the rest of the farm. Or at least uh, we're not going to worry about planting any of the other crops while we're doing it. We will just have the ploughing job going right the way round the entire farm using our... John Deere that we've got at the moment has done all it's done all the ploughing so far on the farm so we may as well have it doing all the rest of the ploughing as well I think it's it's it seems only right and fitting that one finishes what it started it's done all this ploughing around so far it's it's done all these jobs it's it's been it's it's old faithful now isn't it that's why did you make a weird noise like that that's what that com that combine that's that's what that tractor and plow is now, isn't it? They, they they are old faithful for us, and so we want them to carry on doing just that and, and able to keep doing what they're doing. And in order to be able to keep doing what they're doing, we're gonna need to, yeah, like you know, allow them in the field. That that would be a good start. I'm not gonna remove that line of pine trees over there. They're gonna stay exactly where they are. So that's not going to come into it. We will avoid. Well, see, I was going to avoid that tree there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it out anyway, just because I think that tree might possibly be in the way. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'll remove this one completely now, and then just in case anything weird does go and happen, it's out of the way and we don't need to worry about it. There, right, that one's done probably not even going to be affected right, that that is probably not going to come into the field at all then we can come over here uh, there like that forward a little bit oh there is something that I want to check right we we'll go in here thus why are you still making that noise don't know but I don't like it anyway that's not the bit that's not what I want to look at pigs tomorrow we'll be selling a load of pigs tomorrow it's the plan sunflowers this is what I want to look at oh there yeah they're, they're not there a few days yeah I was wondering if we could just sell the sunflowers straight off the fields uh, but no that's that's not gonna happen so we can't go and sell the sunflowers we could potentially sell a bit of canola right now if we wanted to I haven't got anything else that I would even consider selling. So we won't worry about that. But sunflowers, there are another couple of days before. It's like the last day of winter does seem to be about right for the sunflowers. We won't be doing that, though. That's, that's not something that's going to happen. Next, I've got this tree right here. I'll take you out. So in order to get another $300,000, in order to get the, the last little bit that we want to do. Oh, oh, oh. There, it is going to go. Did wonder if that tree was actually going to be able to be cut, but it is. There, that one's gone. Then we can go on over. I'll take those two trees that I can see in the distance first, and then I will come back. Those pine trees, not going to go over as far as where the pine trees are. They're too far away. Uh, they're too close to the edge of the map. I've always tried to avoid the getting too close to the edge of the map. It's like a number of times I've had issues getting too close to the edge of the map. It almost always seems to cause some sort of strange happenings. So I, it, I find it's usually best just to avoid it. Um, if, if you're going to have an accident or something is going to crash, something is going to go horribly wrong, it will happen near the edge of the map. Almost always. Not guaranteed, obviously. But you've got a much better chance of something going horribly wrong near the edge of the map than you do anywhere else. That being said, this one, I kind of I kind of want to bring this one out over to here, like this. Going up this bank a little bit. So we've got a nice big area up here that we can go and use. Bring this one along here. I'm going to go to that palm tree right there. No, I'm not. I'm not going to go to the palm tree. I'm going to avoid that one. I'm going to go up here like this. 
And we're going to come in across here. So I'm going to leave those two trees as well. These trees down through the middle, these are going to go. These are definitely going to go. All right, back up a little bit. Oh, there we go. There, excellent. All right, take those out. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave the palm trees that they can sort of mark out the edge of the field over on that side. And that's just going to make life a little bit easier for us, potentially, I hope. And we're on 84%, 85% on corn now. And sunflowers are on 78%. So if I take this tree out, we will then go and unload the corn. And then after that, we can go and unload sunflowers as well. You're done right there. So let's let's go. Sunflowers, not yet. Corn down here. Let's get you. I'll have to unload this one, and then I've got to take it back to the yard and tip it out. And then we can come back again. We can have another go. Well, the rest of the field will go into one more trailer load. That'll be nice. That'd be, that'd be nice and easy, that will. One, one more trailer load, and that'll be all of the rest of the field. Now, hopefully, you... We'll start unloading before... Yep, excellent. I was going to say, I was hoping it would start unloading before the combine actually stops. It's done that bit without any problems whatsoever. So all we got to do is just follow this one straight down across the field. The sunflowers, I'm a little bit more concerned about. For a start, it's still on 78%. What is going on over there with the sunflowers? If there was something in the way... It would surely be saying so. If, if there was an issue, like if it's slipping or anything like that, it usually comes up with a warning to say, tractor is slipping, combine is slipping, it's not doing this, it doesn't like it, please help, uh, you know, send assistance. Something has gone horribly wrong, but it's, it's not saying that. And this does have me a little bit concerned. Okay, corn, you carry on there. Whilst it does have me concerned, it doesn't have me concerned enough. Oh, no, no, the sunflower's going into the Lexian now. Let's actually start. It's, it's, whatever happened, I think it must have been turning round on the headland or something like that. Okay. A little tiny bit went in. What, what is going on? I, we, we literally had like two litres of sunflowers go into that combine and then it stopped again. I'll bring... Unless it's, like, gone right round the field and now it's trying to work on the land work a minute. So let's start you tipping and then we will go this way. Like this. Uh. Oh! I see! It's come round over onto here. This is where it's doing... It starts the land work from this end. So the combine has travelled all the way up to this end of the field so that it can start the land work. And now it's actually doing the land work. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get our tractor. And we're going to need to drive down to the other end of the field. And allow it to start filling up down here. Once I've emptied that one out, I'm then going to have to drive this tractor right back down to the farm and we will empty out these sunflowers. Because, yeah, I was wondering if we'd be able to sell direct off a field because chances are it would be that building directly in front of us over there that we would be able to sell our grain to. If we could do that, that would have been absolutely wonderful. But, no, it's, it's not a thing. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. Right. I'm going to sit here and we're going to wait for that combine to do another pass. It's going to go up there. It's going to come back down. Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll let that one do what it's going to do a second. And I will get another tree. We keep things moving. You're moving. I'll bring you over here. I'll get another. We've got two trees over here. I could go and do these. I'll just keep an eye on what that Lexine is doing. As soon as the sunflowers stop going into it, we know that we're ready to go over and empty it out. It's on 88% right now. Let's just bring you in. Bring this one in a little bit. There we go. Chop that one down and wood chip everything up. Excellent. That's doing absolutely wonderful. And it has now stopped. So we want to go... Oh, oh. want to go to you. Start this tractor up. And hopefully get beside that combine before... Go on, go. Go, 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 go! Should have gone, be gone before this. 
Get before the car, get beside the combine before it starts to turn on the edge of the field up there. Because if it starts to turn, it's not going like it should stop at the end and allow us to take everything off. There, right. Working in a straight line, we should also be able to do this. Hopefully, you will just stop right there and let us empty out. Nope, it's not going to do that. It's not going to do that at all. It means that we've got to chase it around the field. i tell you what then, we will chase it around the field, but I'm going to drive in the crop. It's just going to be easier if I drive in the crop while I do it, because otherwise I've just got to keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and I, I, I don't want to do that. So I will drive into the crop, do it like this. We've got crop destruction turned off anyway, so it's not going to be any kind of an issue for us. Get some into that trailer right there. We're too far over. We're too far over. It's down to 37% in the combine. That is, he's emptying out that combine quite nicely. Number two is in traffic. No, he's not. Okay, now he's in traffic. Well, apparently some of the trailer is classed as traffic and some of the trailer is not classed as being in traffic. I'm not quite sure how it decides which trailer is just going to smash the header into and which trailer it decides is, is worth stopping for. It's got to be one, it's, it's, it's one or the other. I, I just, I'm not quite sure how he makes his mind up on this. Like, the, the, there's, there's got to be a, a method to the decision-making process. That front trailer is full. That trailer is also full, apparently. So it's got to go, it's, it's got to actually run on the back trailer. So that's the only one that we've got space left in. Take that lot there, which means that we're not going to be able to empty out very much of this one because I spent too long messing around. I'll get... No, we will get the rest. We will get the rest. I was going to say, I might just now head back to the farm and empty this one out, but I don't think I will. I'm, I'm going to run this one right back to the farm. Um, so I may as well, like, finish emptying this... Uh, emptying the combine. Well, not necessarily finish emptying the combine. Finish loading the trailer right up. We get, we get that much done. You go right up to there like that, and that should be lined up. There we go. The third one in the line. It's not the easiest manoeuvre to do, because it's quite a long way in advance of the combine, but at least it's going in a fairly straight... Oh, it's because the, the sunflowers have run out. Now I can head back to the farm. And I actually want to head back to the farm from this side. So again, I'm not driving in the crop. That is a figment of your imagination. I am just going to... Uh, drive right round the combine, round the crop, and then we go up to the top, and then we can drive this one back to the yard. We've got some much longer runs coming up in a second for that combine. Should mean that we get through... Well, it, it'll get through the crop a bit quicker. I don't know what it's going to be like with trying to load and unload everything, but it might also help make life a little bit easier for us doing that. Um... I need to empty this one out. We'll we'll sit up behind the lorry over there. We'll sit up behind that truck. And then we'll take the truck out into the field where the corn is. And we will start... Uh, we'll go and unload the corn combine and keep that one going. And then we'll come back over this way. And we can empty out this tractor. So you can stop right there. Then we go over to this one. We start this one up. We want to run this one out to the field. 15.51 at the moment. It's coming up to 4 o'clock. Harvests are going well. And we've also been doing well with clearing those trees off of the new land that we've been buying. So everything at the moment seems to be moving reasonably well. Right, we've, we've got the different, different things going where we want them to be going. And that, that is a, a big plus. I either... No, he's, he's going to stop now anyway. He's going to stop. They stop at 95%. There, yeah, see? He's going to anchor on right now. But I should be able to empty him out mostly before we get to the end of the row. And this is where we misjudge the size of the combine. And it doesn't stop part way. Look, see? It, it's got to put the spout all the way back before it brings it out again. And this is what makes it take so long when you're trying to line up. Get everything just set perfectly. Okay. Now let me unload this one. And take all of this load out. Then this tractor, this tractor, this, this truck can just park up in the field with the trailer. And we've got sufficient 
grain in here that we don't need to do anything else with it. We can just leave it uh, with, with grain. We've got sufficient space in here that we can just leave this one in the field. We don't need to worry about doing anything else with it. And now you're going to be difficult, aren't you? So we will drive down beside you down this way and we'll unload a bit more so that we can keep this combine going for as long as possible. Uh, right there like that. There. 25% left in... No, well, 16, 15. It, it's emptying out reasonably quickly. And you are done. Right, there we go. You stay right there. On course. This one over here, I will bring this vehicle over like that. And I will stop you right there. Then we will jump over to that tractor and trailer again. You, again, are doing fine. You've only got 19, 20% in there, so I don't actually need to worry about you for a little while. We can run this one in, and if you have a look, if you, like, zoom in really close, I do like the, like, the appearance of the sunflowers in there. Yeah, you know, they, they do seem reasonably realistic, the, the actual look of the seeds in the trailers. And it's the same with all the different crops that they've got. They, they are pretty good at getting um, the actual... I mean, this... It might be that this particular map has, has got this uh, written over it, so it's, it's got a different version of it, but I don't think it is. I think this is just actually the, the correct one. Uh, this is the, the, the base game one. I think this is the base game appearance. But then I, I've, I've been wrong about these things before, so, yeah, you, you never know. And that one I'll do there, and I'll start tipping that one out. That's both of those. I'll drive this tractor straight back up to the field as well. Switch you over to the front trailer there. Okay, let's go. We want to get this one back up to the field so that it is ready to offload that combine. Then we can go back to our um, stump grinding tractor and we can finish removing a few more trees. We haven't got a lot left to do with that one. We've got one more field that we want to buy, but we don't have the money to do it tonight. We may have the money to do that tomorrow. And because we're going to be able to sell all of our fat pigs tomorrow as well, anything that is over 120 kilos we're going to sell tomorrow because that's when the uh, price... I'm thinking the price is going to be pretty good for it. At least this is what I'm hoping. Okay, I'm going to bring you... and I'm going to actually drive you right up here so that you're a little bit more out of the way like that and stop you there. Let that combine keep going there. You are doing a wonderful job. To worry about you. And I want to go... I want my tractor. There. And in here. So the only field... No, actually, we got two. I thought we had one. I've got to buy both of those fields. If I want this to work, I've got to buy both of those fields if I want to do that bit up there. Or I don't. The more I think about this, the more I think it would be better if we don't bother with those two up there. And we keep it with this bit in here. Because if we've got that bit going up round there, that's going to be a wider area than this down here. And we're going to end up with like separate sections on the field. And I think that's going to end up causing us issues. I think that's going to cause us more problems than it's worth. So it might be better if we don't go and get those bits there. If we just leave it as it is. All right, we, we've got a, we, we do have a fair bit of land here. It's, it's not like we've got a shortage of field. Bring you... In there like that. I mean, get into the comments section. If you really, really want me to get the extra two fields up the top there, I can go and do that. We'll have time before the spring. Um, but yeah, we should we, we should have time. Before I start going and doing any of the planting and stuff like that, we should have time to just make a couple of minor corrections on it if that's what you really, really want me to do. Honestly, though, I'm not sure that it's going to be entirely worth it. I'm pretty sure that tree right there is not going to be part of the land that we own. Pretty sure that one, you don't have access to this land. And I would bet that that tree over there is also, you don't have access to this land. Let's have a look. Yeah, it comes down in a step from there and it goes straight across from that road. So really... It's the, it's the top end of field five right here. Put grass on there. Sort of coming out. It's about there. It's 
little a little strip above field five, and then we got this bit. So maybe it would be better for us to buy that up there. All right, then we 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 have got this. I mean, yeah, that that bit there. It seems a bit extravagant spending three hundred and twenty-eight thousand just to have that bit. That would be the same as buying that just to get that little corner there, which I already wrote off as being a ridiculous idea. And now the more I think about it, the the, the less I'm thinking is a ridiculous idea. I suppose we could. I suppose we could tr seriously can I, you know I, I don't think we will I don't think we will I'm, I'm not gonna do it that one you don't have access to this land so I have now got every single tree has been cut down and has been removed from all of this area that we've got laid out here I don't I'm not gonna take those out that's just gonna take too long and I think we're ready I think we are actually ready to start marking the outside of our huge field with the plow. So that's got to be our next job that we do. I'm going to go around the outside of the field. I'm going to have to set the thing record. I think we might do that first thing in the morning when we've got better daylight so that we can, you know, I don't want to um, risk making any errors or anything like that. And... We will go round the outside of the field, ploughing a line around the very edge of the field. All the way through. And bring it over to here as well. Right the way up through here. And it's, it's going to have a line on there all the way through. This one's still got the field 3 mowing course loaded. Let's get rid of that. Um, and go right up to this end. And it will plough everything up and plow up the whole thing I'm looking forward to this I'm thinking this is going to be a fun little job to go and do let's just empty out the last of these I've got to lower it down like that in order to empty the wood chips but there's the last of the wood chips emptied out and then lift you back up need to do anything else with this one I don't think so uh, I need to go back over to the corn now let's just go and park this one up back in here somewhere so that he's out of the way bring you over. I'm going to put this one in over here. I'm going to pop you down right there. I'm going to leave you there for a minute and then I'm going to go over to you. Okay, you are... Where's that one? What's coming up to there? No, we'll leave that one. We'll go and get this one emptied out here. He's about to start cutting a new little air... That's why it does it at 95%, isn't it? It stops at 95% and starts cutting out its little swath because that 5% is the amount of space that it takes in the tank to cut out that little extra bit without wasting any crop. The penny drops. Look, it's just gone and done it there. Except that it's not doing it here. It's just backing out. So what are you doing now? Right, he's, he's just going to stop. No, he's... Because I went and got some already, he's just now going to... He's, he's going to carry on and, and do what he was already doing. So let's get over beside the spout again. And there we go. Right. That's working. Let's keep you... Let's keep you going. Let's keep you unloading. And then as soon as this one's done, we can skip back up to the sunflowers and we can take off all of those... And we've got both combines still running. We're keeping them going flat out up and down across the fields. This, this is what we want to do. We, we want to keep these combines moving. You... Possibly not such a bright driver, though. You, you, you are... You, you do seem to be, you know, like, struggle with the simple things like... Thought. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.